Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video, we're going to be taking these bad boys for a little spin. I have done a run in them already, um, but my sister hasn't yet. So those of you who haven't seen already, um, I did buy my sister a pair of these as well with my voucher uh, for winning the Stafford Half. Um, so yeah, we're going to go for a nice easy run together. Um, just nice gentle five miles. And then um, we're going to have a little bit of fun with some uh, protein powders and different flavours that we haven't tried before. Um, that have been kindly sent to me, so we're gonna have a play around with them. Um, and yeah, and we're gonna get my thoughts and Grace's initial impressions of the shoes. Um, I know that the Rebel V2 hasn't, it's not a new shoe, it's been out for a little while, but I still thought I'd give you just my initial impressions of the shoe. Um, just so you guys build an understanding of what sort of things I like in shoes, um, and stuff like that, so you, you know whether my opinion is uh, similar to yours, basically. So yeah, let's get into this. So Grace, what do you think of the shoes so far? Yeah, really good, really comfy. Yeah, nice and soft, aren't they? Yeah. And they're not too high, like sometimes you get some soft shoes and they're really high. These are nice and like, the stack height isn't too big, are they? So that's good. We're going to be testing out some torque recovery powders sent me four different flavors just in sample packs to try first one is cookies and cream so these say to mix with 200 ml of water which if i'm honest seems like not enough but we'll see so <clears throat> cookies and cream to start off with mm. bring it into your face nice bit strong but nice yeah. Yeah, like that. You've got some noise. Put it on my face. Yeah, noise. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, guys, the next flavour we're going to try is strawberries and cream. Mm. It's nice. I think I prefer the cookies and cream, though. It just tastes like milkshake. <laughs> Yeah, it's not bad. Bad, yeah. Right. So guys, next flavour is chocolate mint. This has got a lot of potential, but it could mm -hmm. also be really bad. Ooh! It smells nuts. Just going into the packaging. That's the nicest one. After eight minutes, I think we all like that. It's all right. I think I prefer the strawberry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, moving on to the last one, which is banana and mango. I think this is probably off the 
like off the flavour. Probably gonna like this one the least, but give it a go. You like? <coughs> I like the banana one. I don't think. I really like banana milkshake. Um, but I don't know. Just the added mango didn't feel like I didn't think I was going to like it. Would you want to try it? Please. I think these are only mixed with two hundred mil because they're sample size sachets. Sachets. I think if you had a proper pot, That's then nice. you would. probably the best one. Yeah. Really? I like the banana. I like the banana one. Yeah. What about you? I wouldn't say it's the best one. Strong blue banana. Or black pants. I like the mint one. Okay. So I think this is mine and dad's favourite. And Grace's is the chocolate and mint. This would be my second. Um, and then probably the cookies and cream. And the strawberries and cream last. So yeah. Um, now let's go and talk about the Rebel V2s and how we got on with them. So guys, yeah, thank you to um, Talk for sending me those sample sachets. Um, I just wanted to try some of the different flavours and they were happy to send me some. Because um, I've always used SIS, you know, Science in Sport, or Sport in Science, I can't remember which way around it is. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd give another brand just a little try. I think Banana and Mango was my favourite. I've always been a fan of a burnt, like a banana milkshake. And you couldn't really taste the, uh, the mango too much, which is um good for me but yeah so if you guys um fancy checking them out um this is completely unsponsored um so i'm not paid or anything to do this but talk of always been a pretty reliable brand for me like i use some of their gels and stuff in my long run but anyway back to what this video is meant to be about the new balance rebel v2 so as i said this this shoe's been out for quite a while so i know this is not gonna be like a, a new review or anything like that but i just like to say that this shoe is really comfortable um the start of the run is really soft um the only thing i would say regarding like the softness is it doesn't feel super soft when you get to like the end of the run um so even after five miles a day didn't feel like it had that same softness that it had at the start of the run um so i'm not sure um if that's just completely mental or what but i actually think this shoe would be a really good shoe for like a tempo or maybe like a light session just because it hasn't got much of a stack height at all um so i feel like if you run on like your forefoot this would be a really good shoe to use um feels like quite responsive even though it's quite soft which is nice um it's got a bit of a like a ping to it but like the main part of the shoe is actually quite stable um but yeah really enjoyed running and walking around in this shoe this far um i'll probably say my most comfortable shoe is still the new uh, the nike invincible um zoom x invincible runs um and i wouldn't be using this shoe for long runs i don't think i don't think it's quite got enough cushioning for me i know it's really soft when you're standing and walking around in it um but yeah, I think overall, just, uh, yeah, it's not quite got enough for a long run for me, especially because I land like on my forefoot, maybe a little bit midfoot. Um, this is just like, it's not enough for me to be doing like 15, 20 mile long runs in. So, um, yeah, I will do a proper full review on this uh, in the shoe once I've, quit to, uh, once I've got to 100 miles or 50 miles at least. Um, I have done 10 miles in the shoe now, so um, yeah, it won't be long before I hit that, I imagine. Um, I actually get through like shoes pretty quickly these days, so yeah. Um, yeah, I, I know that Grace um, enjoyed her first run in the shoe, but had the same sort of feeling as me that probably wouldn't wear it for a long run. Um, but it might be quite good for a session because she four foot strikes as well. So, um, so yeah, thank you guys for tuning in to today's video. Um, yeah, not really sure what I've got coming up on the channel. I, don't, I can't think of anything specifically. Going to be some training videos and that sort of thing, some reviews and whatnot. Um, but I haven't really got any races coming up, so nothing spectacular in that sort of, um, sort of line. So, yeah, thank you for tuning in, guys. Please like, subscribe, the support on the Manchester Race Day vlog and the Parkrun vlog has just been insane. I think I've looked collectively they've got over 4,000 views, which is really cool. Some people were complaining about the adverts on the Manchester uh, Marathon video. So I have actually temporarily turned off adverts in the middle of the video and I'm going to see if I can play around with it. So um, obviously as a content creator, I need like an, an advert in the middle because that's how like you make uh, money from it. But I, can, I understood um that because i hadn't changed the settings um youtube just put like five or six adverts in a 15 minute video which i completely understand is too much so i will have a play around with that um for you guys so that there's maybe one or two in a like 10 minute plus video but you don't want five or six it's, it gets a bit ridiculous at that point so yeah, i will have a play around for you guys but yeah thank you for tuning in please like subscribe if you have any recommendations like with the adverts and stuff just drop them down in the comments i'm a bit new to this as you can probably tell um but yeah so thank you guys for tuning in please like subscribe share with your own buddies free for you and it means a lot to me and we shall catch you in the next one.